We're going to pick up right where we left off in the last video, and we're going to talk about the child selector. Now, the child selector is a close relative of the descendant selector. They kind of do the same thing. So once again, we select an element inside another element. We're doing the same thing with the child selector. The only difference is that the child selector selects a direct child of the element. And we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Now the other difference is we use a right angle bracket or a greater than sign for the child selector. Here in the descendant selector we just use a space but you can see here we have a greater than sign. And what we're saying is that block quote which is the parent element so we specified that first here of course we have a class we're saying select the bold element which is a child element of course it's right here it's a child element of the block quote element and you're probably wondering well wait a minute what's the difference between the descendant selector and the child selector and it'll come together in a few minutes but let's go ahead and change the color to purple and we'll just go ahead and save this let's hit refresh and there you can see it changed to purple down here now let's pull up a diagram here. You can see that bold element is a child in this scenario. It's a direct child of block quote. Here it is not a child because there is a paragraph element in between. And that's the difference. Think about this for a second. If we insert a paragraph element here, which we'll do in a few seconds, the bold element now is a child of the paragraph element. It is no longer a direct child of the block quote. So that's why we would not be able to use this selector, because B now becomes a descendant. Now, in both these scenarios, the bold element and the paragraph elements are descendants of the block quote element, but the difference is, is it a direct child? That's what you want to ask. And in this scenario, the bold element is a descendant, but not a direct child. Only one level down can you be a direct child. So that's the difference. So once again, just to review really quickly, these two elements at this level in the hierarchy are considered a direct child of the block quote element. They are also descendants, so they are both considered a direct child and a descendant. So you could use the child selector and the descendant selector here. It's only when we come down to this bold element in this scenario where we now can only use the descendant selector because it is not a direct child of the block quote element. Okay, and so I'll just minimize this for a second. So let's go ahead and we'll insert a paragraph element in here. So let's do that. And actually, let me bring this diagram back. So now this is what we have. We have this scenario. And so now if I refresh this page, the purple text should go away. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and save this first. We'll hit refresh, and there you can see it just takes the browser's default color because, again, the bold selector is no longer a direct child. It is a descendant, and I'll show you that. So what if we get rid of this angle bracket? Now this will work because this is a descendant selector, and we'll go ahead and save this and refresh, and there you can see it will work because, yes, bold is indeed a descendant. And so that's the main difference, and it's just a subtle difference, but some people get confused by it. As usual, I hope you found this lecture useful. By the way, let's switch this back so you have the child selector as an example. So we'll switch this back, and we'll also get rid of the P here so that the bold element is, again, a direct child of the block quote element. Okay, that's going to do it for this lecture.